Hello and welcome to The Loop. I'm Matt Bruning. And I'm Erin McBride. The ribbon has been cut on the most advanced facility of its kind in North America for the development of autonomous and connected vehicles. This new smart center at the Transportation Research Center near the Union Logan County line is designed to test advanced automotive and mobility technologies in a safe, secure, and repeatable real-world environment before the vehicles are deployed on public roads and highways. This is about winning the future. Winning the future of innovation, winning the future for the for the Ohio economy, and winning the future for safety. Among the features, a 1.2 mile long six lane wide signalized intersection, the largest in the industry. It also boasts an urban network of different types of intersections and roundabouts. It includes a total of 18 and a half lane miles of pavement and more than 20,000 linear feet of underground conduit for power and fiber optics. This $45 million project was funded by the state of Ohio, Jobs Ohio, and Ohio State University. A lot of people use GPS or mobile phone apps to find their way around when traveling, but there's nothing more reliable than a good old paper map. Ohio State law requires ODOT to print a map, and we do every two years. While CAD mapping makes the actual road map, the man who designs the rest is Bruce Hall. He's been doing it for 20 years. Um, I, I look at it, it's like creating a piece of art, and I've always wanted to um, want to try to get people to go out and see things that Ohio has to offer because that's what uh, my family and I did. He says often they discover cool places on their way to something else. Bruce also has a personal connection with each map he's designed, his daughter Ashley. Well, it uh, you know started with looking for a, a stock image for um, you know for a seatbelt panel on the map and um, you know stock footage you know stock images were too much so we ended up using my daughter you know because she was a free model uh, free willing model. She's appeared in every map since. The Associated Press recently did a national story on Bruce and his maps and you can find a link on our Twitter and Facebook accounts. A million of the new maps will soon be available here at our ODOT Central Office and rest areas across the state. Of course, we'll always have plenty at our booth during the Ohio State Fair. It's coming up soon, you know. Mm -hmm. Walk Bike Ohio is ODOT's first plan to focus on walking and biking policies and programs around the state. This is to address the growing interest in active transportation in Ohio. We're holding public meetings around the state to get feedback from you. We've also launched an online survey you can take. Just go to transportation.ohio.gov slash walkbike and help us make our state a better place for those who use active transportation. Driving around the state, you may have noticed those plastic casings on a few of our bridge piers. Our Who New Guru explains what they are and why they're important. So every winter, our bridges, man, they take a beating. I mean, look at this bridge column right here. It has deteriorated due to chemical corrosion caused by de-icing materials and physical corrosion from the grit and other debris that gets launched by snow plows at the bridge piers and they can be expensive to fix. Well, our engineers and researchers have been testing several different cost-saving materials and products to prolong the life of bridge columns. One such product that we've been testing since 2013 is a high-density polyethylene armor, such as this one. This custom-molded, UV-protected, and graffiti-resistant shield lasts up to 20 years and is showing very promising results. We're even testing polyurea and polyaspartic coatings that are used in military blast-resistant applications. Now, how cool is that? And with the second largest number of bridges in the U.S., this research could be a game changer for Ohio. But we'll know more next spring when the third-party university researchers gather all the data and perform their final analysis. Who knew? Thanks a lot, Dave. We'll get more ODOT news online at transportation.ohio.gov. Follow us on social media. And we always love your story ideas and feedback to loop at dot.ohio.gov. And keep sending us great videos just like this one from these ODOT employees serving our country in the Ohio National Guard. Specialist Lay, District 3, Lorain County. Captain Miller, District 3 Construction. First Lieutenant Clark, District 3 Design. Captain Ba, Statewide Facilities out of Columbus. And now, now you're, you're in, in the, the loop. loop.